Hello, friends. Welcome back. We're trying a new angle, a new format. I don't have a real camera. All I have is my cell, my cell phone. It's, it's low budget. This is what you get. Sorry. Buy me a camera if you want them to be better. That's, that's what we're going with. Um, for the second episode of our vlog, welcome to Movie Monday. Uh, that may be a constant thing. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyways, today I want to talk about Drop Dead Fred. And Drop Dead Fred was a movie that came out in 1991. And it starred Phoebe Cates and Rick Mayall. Um, it was moderately big. It's picked up a little bit more of a following. Uh, supporting cast, Marsha Mason, Carrie Fisher, Tim Matheson, uh, Bridget Fonda. Some decent sized names. And the gist of the movie is that uh, Phoebe Cates is a grown-up, and we see through flashbacks that she had an imaginary friend called Drop Dead Fred, who made her get into all kinds of wacky mischief and yada, yada, yada. And so shit would go wrong, and it would get blamed on her, but it was really him. And in this movie, he's real. Nobody else can see her. Him. Nobody else can see him. She can. No one else. No parents, no adults, no other kids. Just her. And she becomes a grown-up. I'm not going to spoil everything. Shit happens. Uh... I mean, this is 16 years later. Yeah, you should have watched it. She goes through some shit. And, uh, or is it 26 years? I'm horrible at math. Anyways, so he comes back into her life. Again, nobody can see him but her. He's her imaginary friend. So, it's cute and it's heartwarming and it has a lovely ending and everything works out for the best and they roll credits and you walk away going, oh, that was cute and I feel pretty good. But if you really stop and think about it, it's fucking terrifying. And I'm going to tell you why. The camera's way over here, and I want to look at me. Ooh. Oh, it's off. Anyways, sorry. So I'm going to stare off to your shoulder, home listener, viewer. Oh, you might be listening. Maybe you put this on, and then you minimize it, and you just have your headphones on. That'd be fun, too. But then you don't get to see all the books. I'm proud of my library. Anyways. So, according to Drop Dead Fred, imaginary friends are real. They're, they exist, and they cause you to do fucked up shit, like break things, or lie, or get into trouble, or get into wacky predicaments that you could never get into on your own. At one point, I'm pretty sure, it's been a while since I've seen it, but he helps her out of her bedroom window into a tree. Now, she's a small child. The physics are all wrong. She can't make it from the window to the tree. So, this imaginary friend physically lifted her and put her in the tree. So, he... He's tangible. He can affect things in the world. But nobody can see him. And we know that he's kind of a pervert, because at one point he looks up the mom's skirt. Yeah. And he stays down there for a minute, too. So, and I'm pretty sure he checks out some other chick's ass. I don't know. He's, a, he's kind of a pervert. He's mischievous. I mean, he's like, you know, he's like Loki. But Loki from The Mask with Jim Carrey, not Loki from the Marvel Universe, because he's not evil or fucking crazy. Or have superpowers, either. So, this movie would lead us to believe that imaginary friends are all around us. Everywhere. Right now. Right now. There's one sitting next to you, wherever you are. I don't care where you Maybe you're taking a shit. Guess what? He's there with you. Or she. There's female ones. Every time you're having sex, they're crowded around your bed, watching. Throwing out encouragement. Lick her asshole! Come on, smack him in the nuts! But you can't hear them. Because they're not your imaginary friend. And we know they congregate... Because at one point, she goes to a child psychiatrist, thanks to her mom, who's a cunt, and they put her on medication to make him die. It's pretty tragic. So, when they're in the waiting room, he's hanging out with other imaginary friends, but she can only see him. So she thinks he's crazy, but no. The imaginary friends can see each other, so they hang out in groups and droves. They're all over. They're everywhere. They're all around us. That's fucking terrifying. And we know that they can physically affect the world. So at any point, any one of these mother... Let's say, let's go back to the bedroom scene, because we all like sex. Who doesn't like sex? We like talking about it. Let's say you're getting into some really good sex. I'm talking ball slapping, ass tickling, whips and chains, hot wax, somebody's in the corner making monkey noise, and just for ambiance. And all around you, unseen but present, are all these creepy, mischievous, perverted weird ass imaginary friends at any moment <clears throat> any one of them could be like ah, let's have some fun and as you're going in for a good thrust 
they slightly lift up on your butt so that you get a little bit too high. And if, going in the back door, folks, and we're kicking the door in. We're not sneaking in silently. I would like to supposition, if I use that word correctly, <clears throat> that sometimes when you accidentally miss, that's what happened. Yeah, that's what happened. It was somebody else's imaginary friend fucking around, watching you have sex, lifting up on your butt cheeks so that your dick gets just a little bit higher and hello, the forbidden smile, all of a sudden. I ruined at least four or five childhoods just now and it feels good. It feels real good. So, thanks for joining me on this. I hope you liked it. Go out and rent Drop Dead Fred. Um, hit up your local blockbuster because both of those things are pretty fucking out of date. If you like this and you want to see a different format, if you think I should turn my phone the other way, because it's sideways right now. See? You can't see. Damn it. Uh, my phone's sideways. Mm, whatever. But uh, any anything you would like to see, you know what? If you want to hear about anything in any of these vlogs, let me know. Because if you don't, it's just going to be me talking about the shit I want to talk about. And dear God, we all have just seen what's up in here. So, oh, I don't have a sign-off, do I? How did I end the last one? Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah! Oh, that sucked. We'll work on that. So, I'll do this. Bye.